Well, Papa and Papa Bruce and I are outside today. It's finally gotten warm enough to where he can work. Uh, I don't know if I have explained everything exactly, but uh, we moved from our old place because it was just more than Bruce could take care of by himself anymore with all of the mowing and the weed eating and everything around all the little trees because mom and daddy just had trees everywhere and so we moved to this property we moved from five acres to three acres but one and a half acres is in raw woods and only one and a half acres does he have to maintain anymore and with uh, the new limitations that Bruce has because of his health then uh, we we just wanted to downsize severely we are going from a hundred foot by 50 foot I guess <clears throat> in ground garden that was wonderful my parents had re uh, had winterized that garden every year and turned the the wheat or the cover crop under they maintained a wonderful compost pit and so we just had more garden and more garden produce than we knew what to do with and gave it to everybody and canned it and so we always had an overabundance of of garden produce so this year we're starting brand new we don't know how good this ground is for growing and and I have limitations now too. Papa Bruce is 73 and I'm 68 so we uh, our goal this year is to do what we can with what we can and hopefully that some of the ideas that we have learned on YouTube and that you just the Heavenly Father just puts new ways of doing things into your mind he's very creative like that and he wants us to be creative too so i want to show you i want to take you through a little uh tour this morning of the things that we want to accomplish this year and how we hope to accomplish it and for any of you who have physical restrictions limitations Hopefully this will give you the incentive and the inspiration to go ahead and do whatever you can with what you can. And so we have this fence around our property. <clears throat> Wonderful fence. And so we are going to use that fence because it's there. And then we've put up this just chicken wire fence and so what we're going to be doing is making raised bed with what we have and we're filling that empty space up with cardboard and leaves and and lumber scraps and if all we can if all we can do in a day's time is just get this little section here this little section here to right here if that's all we can do in a day's time then that's all we can do but you just start where you are you do what you can and and you go with it so he's down there cutting up cardboard and filling up our row but then uh, so we're gonna actually try to get that one section finished today and I'm gonna take you over here to our next project because we do want animals. Hold on. We do want animals, and so small animals. And someone has already given us some duck eggs, and Hami Biscuits is hatching them out for us in her incubator. We're going to go on the halves, and she could take 12 duck eggs, so hopefully we'll have... Uh, six ducks here in about a month but we had bought this chicken tractor while we still lived in Cameron Oklahoma and with our intentions of starting out with chickens this year and moving this tractor every day but then as Bruce developed his uh, COPD and cannot be out 
in bad weather at all. It takes his breath literally away from him. And if you can't breathe, you can't work. So we have decided that instead of making this a chicken tractor, we're going to turn it into our greenhouse and, uh, and chicken pen. So we're going to walk in here and, and I'm just going to tell you what I'm thinking. This is the south wall and we're going to be replacing this with some some panels the hard hard plastic panels this part down here will be in in clear plastic that we can roll up for ventilation so all of this section here we want to make a, a little greenhouse from this part here and across this will be the west wall this is where we want to put our quail. Several of you, uh, AW Farms and Living Traditions Farms, have convinced us that we are going to do try to raise quail this year. So we're going to have quail pens here, and it will be covered with this as shade. And then this part over here, we will have a roost for the few chickens we only want about maybe six chickens and the six ducks and so this will be their place to uh, roost and be under uh, protection for bad weather and and we will have an electrified fence where they can run around during the day and then this section right here will will have a couple of nest boxes and and we're going to make it to where we can reach in and and get the eggs even from the outside so those are our plans and it's uh we're going to be doing it on the cheap <laughs> we are frugal we're very frugal and we try to do things on the cheap and uh anytime we can find used proper used things we will pick it up and bring it home and and try to do something with it. Uh, while I'm out here, I'll go ahead and show you some more of the property. We plan on keeping the gar doing the garden the same way here against this fence down to the corner. And this is our backyard to that corner. But then that other little section over there is just our land also uh, to that fence. So this is our backyard fence, but our property goes to that next fence there where the green green post posts with the white tops. And it's in this section that we've been seeing the deer come every night. And we have seen just last night there were three fawns with them. So we know that we've got a family of deer around here that uh, love to come and and eat all the acorns that's out here in this field. So our property goes back to the fence there, the tree line. And then our property, so this is the one and a half acres that is that we will have to maintain. And our other one and a half acres is on the west side and it's all woods. So we don't have to maintain that, but it sure gives us a lot of good foraging where we can go in and and get more stuff to fill up our our empty uh, empty garden beds. So those are our plans for the year. And I'm going to get over here and get with my darling. And uh, we're going to start tearing up those cardboard boxes and filling our empty space up. And maybe today I can plant some garlic and onions. Okay, here we are at the first section again. Uh, we, have, we have built it up with this cardboard. And this is a 6-inch box. This is a 6-inch box. And I am going to put a clothespin on this and, 
and put it at the top of my fence. So I want at least six inches of good topsoil. And we'll fill between the cardboard and this box, I will fill in with straw. Okay, there's my six inch box. And you can see that the rest of it's filled with straw. I'm going to move this six inch box over on this other side. There's my six inch box. And we've got a little bit too much straw over here. So we're going to take some of that out. And of course, that'll help us save a little bit. So. More like that. So we're ready to put dirt in this first section. And uh, so let's, let's get to it. This is the potting soil mix that we're using. It is organic and it is, uh, oh honey, would you raise that up please? So they can see Kellogg all natural raised bed and potting mix. So that's what we're gonna make our beds with this year. And this is more expensive than I've ever put a garden together before, but we don't have much choice at this time. And so we're going to keep a, a running track of what we're spending. And at the end of the year, we'll give you a, a recap on how much it cost and how much, hopefully, we got as a harvest. So we're going to finish off at least this one section now. Okay. Okay. We have we have com completed at least this much of it, and I wanted to show you how deep our topsoil is. We're there. So that's about eight inches. We did better than we thought, and we took about it took about three bags, about two and a half to three bags. But we got our goal for the day, and a second goal. We extended our ability. So there's two sections. Here's three sections. These still need a little bit of topsoil. Three, four, five. But we've run out of cardboard. You come down here, honey. Show them. We've run out of cardboard. And we still have plenty of uh, straw, but not enough to finish the whole row out. And here's a little bit of straw left here. So that was two bales of straw. And nine bags. Was it nine bags of uh, potting mix? Yeah. So, so we put a little more straw in these. Let's see how deep this one is. Wow. There, I'm getting, I'm getting straw now. So, we've got a good base here, and that's what we've gotten done today. I'm going to plant onions and garlic in this bed, and we're going to call it a day because both of us are huffing and puffing. <laughs> but I think uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good day's effort. So thanks for watching.